got another great boredom buster for you, and I've got Peony to help show us. It's fantastic. Peony, how old are you now? Ten. You're ten? How long have you been sewing for? About four or five years. Yeah. yeah. But you're quite prolific, aren't you? You're sewing all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you enjoy about sewing? Um, I don't know. Basically everything and the finishing product mostly. Oh sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. How about the old needle in the finger? Do you like that bit? No. No. <laughs> Does it happen very often? Yeah, I make myself bleed a lot. Oh no! Okay, so in your sewing kit you also need a supply of band-aids. Yeah. Um, or a thimble. A thimble? Mm. Oh, nice thinking. You've got a pretty special sewing kit, haven't you? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. It's fantastic. So this is it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? Um, my mum made it for me um, a couple of Christmases ago. What have you got on it? Um, I've got some pins for like pinning patterns and things and some special sewing scissors. I've got some needles and some thread and this um, measuring thing for clothing. Oh, a tape measure? Let's yeah. have a look. Oh, very good. And the perfect size to tuck into your sewing kit. Yeah. What are you going to make for us today? Um, I was going to make these little mice here. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard would it be? Would it be really easy for a novice, brand new sewer to give a go? Or does it someone that needs a bit more experience? Or is it only for experts? Do not try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably for a for like four or five because there's blanket stitch and that's kind of hard. Okay. Just when you're first giving it a go. Right. So. Do you know what blanket stitch is? I don't either. Peely, will you show us? Okay. Yeah, like, great, thank you. So what do we do first? Um, well, we get these patterns here and we get the piece of fabric and we're just going to um, pin it so that it won't move while you're cutting. Great. That. Well, show us how you do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe something that an older pair of hands can help you with too. Do you have to get it perfect? No, not at all. You just kind of need to quickly cut round it. Pays to do it on a flat surface? Yeah. And preferably on a table? Yeah, and on the floor would be okay, but tables are a lot better. And that way you're not going to cut the carpet, or the couch, mm, yeah. or your clothes, or anything like that. Um, now that you've got the pattern out onto the fabric, you just fold it in half to make sure it's even. It doesn't matter too much if the lines don't really come, like, mm -hmm. completely sure. packed. And then you just thread a needle. Steady hand, a steady eye, okay, and your tongue hanging out. Good, <laughs> <laughs> the perfect combination. Okay. We need to tie a knot. About three knots is good so it won't slip through the material. When you... Okay. Well, yeah. there are lots of different ways you can tie knots at the end of the cotton. Peony ties three knots, one on top of the other, so that it won't pull through the fabric. Okay. Great. Okay. Now we have to pin it with this pin so that the, it won't move while you're sewing. Ah, good idea. So now I'm going to do blanket stitch. So pull this through. And... Mm-hmm. See this loop I've got here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've put my needle through it. And then you keep doing that till you're near the end. And make sure that you keep this long because otherwise it's just eventually going to disappear altogether. Sure. That's a really good tip. Keep your cotton doubled over with a good length, otherwise it can slip out of your needle really easily. 
It's watching the speed that you're sewing, Peony. You've obviously done this a few times. Yeah. You use blanket stitching on other items as well? Mm-hmm. Have you ever sewn anything for anybody as a gift? Um, yeah, I sewed little mice for all of my friends, actually. Oh, lovely. And how close to the edge, end of it do you need to get? I reckon I've still got around three, four stitches. Okay. Can you knot it off now? Tie it off? Mm. Or? Uh... No, you just cut it and then I just cut mine and then quite far away and then stuffed it and then like started from around here. Oh, to okay. To the hole just sure. to cover it up. Okay. Yeah. Great. So we're into the stuffing now. Yeah. Usually I actually use a crochet hook to put it in, but... How have... about a knitting needle? Would that work? Yeah, that yeah? would work. Okay, I think I've got my knitting down here. Here we go. Oh, thank you. So with this end, because it's a nice flat end, you just get... put it in here like this and mm -hmm. use the knitting needle to just ah. push it to the other end, like to the very other end. Keep pushing it in. Great. Yeah, and then Ooh, done that. Oh, hadn't learnt that trick before. Nice work, Peony. Yeah, and then you just keep doing that using very little bits. Sure. Easy to get through the entrance. Yeah. Now we're just going to do some more blanket stitch till the end. So since you didn't tie it off last time, mm -hmm. You have to go back a few stitches so that it will stay. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so um, how I knot this is you just go... You just keep doing the stitch in the same place for, like, ages. Okay. Till you've run out of thread, really. What do we do next? So now um, I've prepared some little ears and a tail here and we're going to just do normal stitch, like just a couple of stitches to stitch on. Okay. Yep, so you just need around like five or six stitches. Pushing it through so much fabric can be quite hard, can't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's your the tail done. Excellent. Yep. And we're all ears now? Mm-hmm. So we need more cotton and another needle. Here we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so for the ears, it doesn't matter what size or shape or anything. And you just need around five stitches for the ears. Just normal stitch. Mm-hmm. Now we need a pin for the eyes? Yep. Here's one I prepared earlier. Mm, thank you. And now you just do any kind of eye you want. And I don't usually do a mouth, but I don't know. You could, you could do, do a one. mouth, yeah. 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 Here we go. Three beautiful little mice. Maybe it's a family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Penny, thank you very much for showing us those. It's okay. Now, you've got others that you've stitched before, haven't you? Um, yeah. 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 Maybe you can come back and show us something else one day. Sure. Wonderful. Thank you. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.